five. Hey. hey. <laughs> Alright, we lost. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, good to go when you when you are. Just like that. Okay. Okay, just go one screen after it because I hit B because I thought you were no. <laughs> okay, just go one screen after it because I hit B. Fine. Because I thought you were just All right, three, on two, one, go. All right. So we should probably explain why we're starting here, Josh, like halfway through the game. Yeah, um, we're starting here because uh, getting the starter you want is not guaranteed. So if we start so from good. the beginning... At the beginning of the game, they have to ask you a quiz, right, to distinguish what person... Yeah. So, at the beginning of the game, they have to ask you a quiz, right, to distinguish what personality you are. And, um, it, like, if you're male or female, uh, personality, we don't get, uh, the specific thing that gives us city, which is not our support this run. So, if we don't get, uh, the specific thing that gives us city, which is not very fun for a race if a person resets five times, and another one just gets it right off the bat. Yeah. So we always, uh, for races in Pokemon Mystery Engine, we always start, um, we always start on the picture of the character, which is where we were going to start if, <laughs> if Mr. Noob started on time, but it's fine. We're good. Alrighty. All so, right. Tiny Woods, the most RNG place in this game. Hello. First of all, we're going to be doing some menuing, setting up our uh, options, like our IQ for our every every first floor of this game. Oh my God, in a row. Let's go. Yeah, this game. Every every first floor of this game. Oh my God, in a row. Let's go. Whoops. So, um, you would think like everything's randomized in this game. The dungeon layouts are randomized, and oh crap, the dungeon random like damage uh. moves does does are sometimes randomized, and uh, just stuff like that. But um, we'll get into when we get into Thunder Wave that way anymore. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jap like just go by the randomized stuff. This runs about three hours, but because of a, a uh, um, Japanese runner that we have no idea like who exactly found it, uh, found a way we can set manipulate or like set what we can do or what we know we can do, and that saves like at least forty minutes if not more. Yeah, we'll explain the we'll explain the trick in uh in Thunder Wave Cave. Which but, is the next um, dungeon. Yeah. But while we wait, uh, welcome to Hold B Simulator. <laughs> yeah, we can we can skip text in this game by holding B. Uh, so those of you that thought we were put it's not nah. the case. <clears throat> That's why I started running this game. Matter of fact, because I didn't want to match. And I'm just like, oh hey, I can hold the B button. I can yeah, and there's also, um, this, is pro this is by far the shortest... Uh, the shortest run in the PMD series. Uh, there's also a PMD Time Darkness and Sky, which are all about six hours long. Um, which is about uh, six hours. And Super Mystery Dungeon is about five and uh, six. Like Super Infinity hours long. is nine hours long, and Super Mystery Dungeon is about five and a half. So, you know, it's. We're naming our team. Our oh yes, yeah, so we're naming our team Pre NASA what? for the memes. Throwing, pre NASA. Throwing curveballs at me. That's an R, not me. Usually we uh, keep our everything one character if we can, just because it's faster, saves text. But this is a marathon, we gotta have a little bit of fun, you know? Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so I hope the audio is back to normal. What it wasn't me, apparently. So this is Eric Brown. Oh, we're good now. So. Yeah, we, 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 we. so this is the only forced save point in the game. We are actually forced to save on our bed. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't really complete the game without saving that. Or like doing that action. Yeah, but it's it's not too bad. It just gets you gets you used to saving. We're gonna be doing a lot of pseudo saving. 
in this game. That's actually part of what the RNG manipulation is. At least it's fun like a lot. Uh, At least it's fun like a long name. <laughs> okay, so, um, Galatian was found. It's become, uh, it used to be very RNG based, but since the. Because we don't. So, like I was saying earlier, the only truly random parts of this run are tiny woods. Because we don't manipulate it because it's too, it's too short. And um, the first floor of every dungeon. Are you gonna try the swag strat, John? Are you trying the swag strat? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm going for the swag mailbox strat. No, so there's like, no chill. <laughs> so there's like, I wouldn't say loading zones, but there's just zones everywhere that just block your way to get to. <laughs> I had it, but I opened up the menu for some reason. <laughs> Oh well. Yeah. Uh, this... So really, what we want is we want to be we want to spawn right next to the stairs, and every floor one optimally. So then, like, like as long as we can get to the stairs on floor one, like I just did, you can um we can quick save. So when you start a dungeon, there's seeds that spawn, right? There's seeds that determine when everything happens, how everything happens. So if we quick save and reload the game, the game doesn't know what seed to pull from. So they just pull from a default seed, which is like zero for one. So we can, and because of that, we can manipulate everything. If we save on floor two, the rest of the dungeon would be different than it is if we do it on floor one. So this, the rest of this um, Thunder Wave Cave is actually, we know it's uh, consistent. Like we know exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, there's some stuff that changes based on that. We know exactly what's gonna happen. Some stuff that changes based on level and stuff, but um, yeah. <laughs> well, Squirtle's holding an orange bear. I need to take that off. I never mind you. <laughs> well, let's just take that off. Okay. This was terrible. <laughs> so I'm like reaching to split. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, I messed up. <laughs> dang. Already? I didn't. Oh crap! You need it. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're trying to do uh, facade strats? No, 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 no. We just do them. Um, we quick save in tiny woods. So it'll be fine. No, it won't. <laughs> we'll just do old mounts. No, we just grab missions. Over. So it'll be fine. No, it won't. <laughs> we'll just do old mounts skill strats. Okay, so we'll just do the tiny woods in the next in the next section. Yeah. Okay. Okay, got it. So we were supposed to enter in wonder mail codes uh, when we quick saved in in Thunderwave Cave, but we forgot. This is, you, this is what you. This. I don't know how you forgot. You ran this game this morning. It's muscle memory. It's odd category. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Like. Double slap, which is super broken, so we just coasted with double slap. But then we realized, hey, we can save time by having another round facade in one of our quick saves, double slap. But then we realized, hey, we can save time by so we found facade in one of our quick saves, and we used that. And then we're just like, hey, we. Can higher IQ is, and because we never eat gummies, so if you find a return TM in this game, you might want to throw that away. Unless you're 100% in this game. Yeah. In this game, you might want to throw that away. Unless you're 100% in this game. Yeah. that. <laughs>
Thank you, Gio. Okay, so Tiny Woods is always going to be normal because we there's not really it's too short to manipulate. So right now we're doing missions. We have to rescue. We have to do two rescue missions to progress the story. And I found my first guy already. Yeah, me too. We're we're like neck and neck. This is great. I think I did Thunder Wave Cable a little bit faster than you did. Yeah, I I picked up the apple for safety. <laughs> I didn't. Hey, Hal, your screen is frozen. What? Hello. Yeah, you might want to restart it or something. Okay. Uh, I restarted it. Is it better now? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. That's dumb. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my stream froze. So anyway, back to this. We get we get uh, four anywhere between one and three items when collecting mission rewards, and we can get usually four different things: uh, reviver seed, gravelly rocks, max elixirs, or cherry berries. Cherry berries are completely useless to us. Max elixirs are prob like pretty useless to us too, because we never get to a point where. Berries are pretty useless to us too, because we never get to a point where. Berries are pretty useless to us too, because we never get to a point where. In the early game, it does 20 damage no matter what, and that helps us like as you can uh, you'll see here in a minute to it, or like when we fight Skarmory. Uh, just like as you can uh, you'll see here Skarmory split, or like when we fight Skarmory. Uh, Skarmory has 65 health, and he starts to type they're, they're only useful, like, for a long time we never use them, and there's one point in the final dungeon where we need to use them. Yeah. To kill a Shedinja. Because Shedinja, even with the Wonder Guard ability, still takes damage from projectiles, weirdly enough. Yeah, I don't understand why they did that, but they did. Yeah, I guess balancing purposes. I don't know. They didn't want Shedinja being too overpowered. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. I mean, ghost types are super Watch overpowered. <laughs> ghost types are pretty overpowered in this game anyway, because they can walk through walls, and you can't oh, attack yeah. something ghost through types walls. Ghost very annoying in this game, and in Mystery Dungeon in general. Remember to now Wonder Mill Codes. Save. Remember to do Wonder Mill Codes. Yeah. Codes. I've actually had perfect RNG up to this point. I just didn't do the Wonder Mill Codes. Okay. Well, this is my first stair forward, so. Nice. Okay. Oops, I messed up. Alright, we're good. I clicked on something I should know. Oh, it's been so long. It's been so long. Okay. Yes, I realize I can use the... The the touch screen, but I literally, like, I don't have a stylus, and it's just faster for me to just do this. So what we're wonder in is, like, s someone giving us frustration or orbs the TMs. Thanks. Okay, that took way too long for the first code. You're only on the- you only finished the first code then? Dang, I thought my code was sucking. <laughs> Damn! Savagery, man! Uh, no, it's a T. Okay, good. I didn't have to input the- like, any of them again. So, the... Uh... Just for a quick thing, the Wonder Mail we're getting is uh, basically the fastest Wonder Mail you can do, which are near missions. Because you actually don't need to go rescue anybody. So, as you see um, in the floor too, we do some weird, like, movement. And usually when, you, when there's weird movement... Oh, well. Interesting. Anyway, when there's weird movement, we're usually just trying to get enemies to go away from us. So we don't have to fight him. Because we can theoretically finish this game at level 6 and 7 if we wanted to. And this, theoretically. Theoretically. And this is another... Very theoretically. 
This is a, this isn't this is our first instance also where we're quick saving again to reset the seed RNG once again, so we don't have to if deal you, with. If you don't quick save here, the rest of the dungeon really is bad. Yeah, it's really unoptimized and like you have to go through a lot of rooms you shouldn't have to. You'll notice that I have the screen on the bottom screen. Cause that's just how I'm used to playing the game. But Noob has switched his screen to the top screen, you, which you can't see. You mean the map? So. The map. What I say? You said screen. Oh, Quality. well, the map is on the bottom screen on my screen, and on Noob's it's on the top. So this is something really cool to note. I actually have the XP levels to skip levels, like to skip a level up. So like this Garmy gives us a little bit more than one level worth of XP. So if we're just about to level up to seven, we can go straight from six to eight. And that skips a jingle, that skips um, a couple t boxes of text, and it's just faster if we get that skip. But it's, it's purely based on how our run is from the beginning to this point. And there's nothing much we could really do about it. I might actually be too short of levels, but we'll see. Yeah, my squirtle hasn't even hit level 7 yet. Oh, really? I hasn't even level hit level 8. <laughs> Oh, nope. I was too low to get to level 8. Interesting. So yeah, we're both very low on the XP curve, which is kind of... It's interesting. It's not bad or good. It's just a different feel for it. Yeah, I was, I'm pretty sure I was about to get it, but I just didn't have enough XP. That's fine. Yeah. Like, that just means we're better off for the later, because like right now we're at a lower level than we usually are. Yeah. Which means we're doing good on not fighting too many enemies, but you don't want to be too low of a level. Yeah, because if we're too low of a level, at some point a boss could kill us instead of um, us living at like two health or whatever. Yeah. So, and plus it makes certain strats not work if you're not at a certain level. Yeah. So are you gonna are you gonna go to shop? Or are you not going to shop? I'm not going to shop. I have I got a revive seed from the missions. You think you're good? Well, I, I I got I think I got two seeds from the missions, but I'm not sure if I wanna. I mean, we're good until like we still got more missions to do. So, yeah, I mean, I'll sure. Check and, I'll wait and see until I'm done with those missions. Yeah. The thing about PMD is you're never too certain about your stability in this game, because like especially in some first floors, they can really screw you up if you get really bad RNG. Really bad luck. Because, like, um, one of our most recent runners was, like, on pretty good world record pace in the no save and quit category, and had, like, five reviver seeds going into a dungeon, but lost all five of them in a span of, like, two minutes, and died. Yeah, this game can uh, can take things out of left field. That's why we're going to be saving a lot. We're going to be saving on some peaks, just to like make some sure. Some dungeons we really don't have much to worry about, but there's some dungeons with some really lethal Pokemon. So I will be personally saving uh, at a dungeon called Mount Blaze later on, but I don't know if Noob's going to save there or not. I probably will because that the floor layout there is pretty bad, regardless how lucky you get. And the reason why some Pokemon's like super like, dangerous compared to others. It's because some of them have Fury Attack. Yeah. Um, and, and Thunder Punch and stuff like that. Hello? Uh, long, mm. long break, please. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's talking to chat, Kappa. Okay. Alright, so we, we're gonna have- we're going to the worst part of the game right here. Where we have to go talk to Wigglytuff to give us, uh... Friend, friend areas. I don't even know what they're called anymore. I never use them. But, um... Basically, like, you know, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, you have a chance of recruiting every Pokemon that you kill. And, um, as long as you have a friend area for it. So, sometimes we'll kill something and they'll just waste time asking to be on our team. But we're super elitist like that, so we're just like... Nope. Screw off. Can you, can you concur? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's just too many points in this run. I mean, I haven't really seen it much very much anymore because like in this game you don't actually get all the get the friend areas you need to recruit certain Pokemon. Um, but in Sky, it feels like feels like you can recruit everything in Sky. Yeah, because there's no friend areas in Sky Time Darkness. There's just Chimico with yeah. with his presence. And his and and run ending bells. <laughs> Basically, Chimico rings a bell that allows you to start recruiting Pokemon. We just call that run over. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even though it's a consistent event. Uh. <laughs> How wiggly, wow, husband. And the friends. So, if you don't know uh, the context behind how Wigglywall and them, there's a Wigglytuff as the, uh, basically the leader of a, a guild in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2, like Time Sky Darkness. If and you haven't played Explorers of Time and Darkness, do it, because it's the best in the series. Yeah. I'm... And um, Wigglytuff's pretty expressive. <laughs> so that's where all the emotes come from. That's where all my Wigglytuff emotes come from. So yeah, this game is filled with a decent amount of cutscenes, but it's way worse than the future games in the series. So there's, there's really not that many cutscenes in this particular game. At least the text scrolls up more than a, uh, a tick every couple frames, or a letter every couple frames. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Gates of Infinity's text boxes scroll so slowly. It's almost unrunnable, I don't know how Cobra runs it. <laughs> with determination. Cobra being our, uh, our resident uh, 3DS Pokemon Mystery Dungeon speedrunner. Unchallenged world records in the 3DS Mystery Dungeons. Because we don't have capture cards. Because <laughs> <laughs> we don't have capture cards. Definitely. Okay, so now it's just time for more missions. Yeah. Um. Just make sure. Yeah, yeah. I've like I like triple quadruple checked my missions. Yeah. So, so, so did I, cause like, cause we didn't get our uh, like Wonder Mail on in time. Cause it's like screwed up now, and I'm just, it's just, it's weird, you know? We're supposed to have frustration right now, but because we didn't uh, do the Wonder Mill in the first Thunder Wave Cave, um, yeah, we have to do that now. Luckily, there's another three and two missions segment in this run, <laughs> otherwise we would have not reset, we would have used a different, more dangerous route. I don't even know if it's more dangerous anymore, it's just like there. Oh, you're talking about the regular frustration? No, um... The facade route? Facade route. It's just much riskier, because, like, the this damage is based on leveling. Yeah. Also, a thing that's changed over the years is we used to get, uh, bands. We used to get power bands, special bands, uh, to equip to our Pokémon to, like, have them do more damage. And um, we just don't really do that anymore because we just rely on a 90 power frustration or 90 damage frustration. Yeah, having two frustrations equipped to your uh, on your Pokemon's move set is like is like 90 damage. So and it's fixed damage, so you don't even need the bands anymore. Talk about frustration, I get fed <laughs> damn Feeboss. Feeboss is rough, man. Feeboss. I, I think they made it easier in this anime. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Skitty, for giving me a Reviver Seed. That's me from the future, by the way. That yeah. means I didn't. That means there's one Reviver Seed in this run I didn't use, so he came back from the future to give it to me. He didn't finish. give me one. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I just take it as you finish the run with zero Reviver Seeds left. Yeah, because I had to, I did, I figured out the five seed strat on Replaza and just did the five seed strat. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, so introducing Team Meanies. Yeah, Team Meanies is a bit of a butt. They're kind of, they're pretty big douches, but it's okay. They make us like add another hour to this run for like almost no reason, but it's okay. Yeah, it's not too bad, but. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss stuff I don't need. And I'm going to teach frustration in the overworld. I almost trashed it. That was not good. 
and then I'm gonna toss it out. Oh, uh, so used TMs um, are kind of interesting in this game. When you use a TM, they become used TMs. So you can, if you have the move recycle, you can still technically like recycle them and use them again, but they just are just dead weight, and you can't like, you can't uh, like get store them. You can't sell them. They're just kind of there, and it's done. But if we teach them in the overworld, you can just toss them the second you don't need them. Oh, hey, there's the reviver seed that I had left over. Okay. So one of the, I wouldn't say big problems uh, in this game, but kind of just problems in this game, is um, that you don't have enough inventory space to hold everything. In... Yeah, that's one thing they kind of fix in Explorers of Sky is like after you reach a certain point in the game, it does it several times. Um, it gives you more inventory space as the game goes as the game goes on. Eventually, you get like five or six pages of inventory, but in this game, you only get two. We go get missions right before Silent Chasm. I can't remember. It's been or before Sinister Woods that long. I do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna be walking you through the speedrun. <laughs> kind of. Okay, I I got the world record like I'm gonna be two months you ago. Ahead. I'm gonna be walking you through this from behind. Yeah, true. Because you're, <laughs> you're gonna be ahead of me. And I'm just gonna be telling you what, what to do five or ten minutes from where I am. Quality. But yeah, we need to oh, stock up on close. we need to stock up on missions just because um, we're actually done with missions for right now. Uh, we're actually done with missions for like the next hour. Maybe yeah. An hour and ten minutes or so, and then like so, in the late game we're gonna we're, we're gonna have to do more missions. That's what I was trying to say there, but I honestly fail. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> mission stuff. I haven't gotten a single near mission yet. So I have a near mission for I have a near mission for floor three of a uh, tiny woods, but I don't have a floor two. Oh, Squirtle, why? I forgot to turn off bubble. Feels bad, man. I should have been I should have seen that like from miles away. I just didn't. I forgot to do it too. Don't worry about it. Thank God for uh, reviver seeds. Usually, usually Sinister Woods doesn't take any reviver seeds from you. Usually. But, mm, that was a special case. Oh, okay. What? I did not quick save. Interesting. You just get to level... You have frustration, you just need to get to floor 7. You'll be fine. Right. Oh, goodness Excuse gracious. Me, mm -hmm. okay, so, this may be faster. <laughs> Technically, this is faster, but it's, uh, I don't know. Unlikely we'll to be faster. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So, quick save on floor 7, right? Yeah. I told you. <laughs> you need to, like, just practice quick saving, man. Oh my god, I'm almost there. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> you, caught, you caught up to me. Because of not quick saving, K. Okay. So, uh, that floor 6 I just went through, I just kind of went on a weird route to the stairs and that's because there's a sun floor there but interestingly enough we can st still kill that sun floor and it won't lose us any time because frustration makes it a one hit kill which is kind of nice because frustration this early on in the game just killed everything no i think he strat always wins of course of course and i picked up an escape orb just in case i get insane insanely good oh, rng oh man i didn't get to do that feels bad man it's okay you won't get the chance to kappa and no, I do not want to enter the unknown dungeon. Wait. Okay, so now I'm back on track. Luckily, this was a two-save dungeon. Yeah. If this was if this was a one-save dungeon, this might have that might have been a different story. Especially so with this. The next dungeon. <laughs> yeah. You you should probably save on the next dungeon. 
I, I, should pro I probably should. Um, I'll, I'll think about it. For those who do not know, he didn't quick save on the next dungeon in his PB run. Yeah. <laughs> a PB run. It cost me a minute. So. Crap, what level am I on? Don't even know what level I am. Ah. I don't know what level I am either. We're gonna do this together, man. That's so bad. That's okay. Alright, Squirtle is 10 or Skitty is 8. Squirtle 10 and Skitty 8. Squirtle is 10 or Skitty 8. Squirtle, Skitty is 8. Okay, so, uh, Rocket Man. No. no, Skitty is 8. Uh, Rocket Man is 8. Alrighty, I gotta turn off Withdraw now. Withdraw's dumb. So Squirtle really just hangs on for the ride. Uh, Squirtle really we're just doesn't do much. On ways to implement him, but, uh... Right now, he doesn't really do anything. Hmm. That wasn't good. Okay, we're good. Did you? When did, did you just finish now? No, I'm not done yet. No. Oh. It doesn't matter. I just frustrated the wrong ones in the wrong order. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But did you did you do the level eight strand or the level whatever? Uh, level eight strand. Oh, yeah. That could be kind of problematic. I frustrated Gengar uh, before I... No, wait. I, stressed, I frustrated Ekans before I stressed, frustrated Gengar. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you Y-turned to Ekans before you Y-turned to Gengar. Yeah. <laughs> but it's alright. It doesn't uh, matter what order you kill him, then. Yeah, kind of. No, no, it doesn't, because you don't lose a seed because of it. I'm just dumb. Yeah. Not that you're dumb, but yeah, what you said is <laughs> right. I got you, man. Alrighty. So we run this game a lot. Uh, we actually have a Discord for it. Um, on my channel page, in my bio, I actually have a big shiny button that if you click it, it gives you an invite to it. Uh, we talk about a lot of, we do a lot of speedruns. It basically covers our whole community, and every game uh, for it, including the Japanese exclusive WiiWare games, which we're currently routing. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn more about Pokemon Mystery Engine, that'd be the place to go. We really don't use the Pokemon Speedruns Discord at all, especially at when Yeah, they... because we had our own channel, but then randomly, like, I don't know, they just... They, they... our own channel. They figured that it wasn't... Every side game wasn't popular enough to have their own channel, so they just condensed us all. Yeah, but they, we just didn't think there was enough space, so we made our own Discord for it. Yeah, it's a very fun game to run, I would say. Oh, crap. Let's delete let's this now. I, I got, okay, I took a white gummy deliver mission, right? Because I'm like, oh, I can get the white gummy, and I didn't get the white gummy. Oh. So. Oh, easy, I can just. That definitely feels bad, man. There's a 48 cherry berry. Uh, I can... yes, five. We are. Oh, Silent Chasm, we don't need that. Quality. But, um, so, Josh, hmm. this question of the stomach, the stomach gate question here, what, what press, what button press do you think is faster? Because we kind of just always assumed the first one was. I'll choose the second one. <laughs> okay, man. So we can compare these two runs. What, is, <laughs> what is the it? The geo, you need to keep that public, because we didn't know that. What is with, um, Europeans and not sharing routes, Kappa? <laughs> Shout out to Chansey. Shout, shout out to Chansey Ness. He, he made a lot of the strats that we still kind of use today. Like, the rough idea of the strats we use today. But right now, he's like, I can get this sub 2, and he's not telling us how. He wants it to be a surprise. Dude, I, I get, I'm getting really good stair floors. My execution is just not there today, though. Dude, I, I had a decent floor run. What floor are you on in Silent Chasm? One. Oh, okay. So we're not going to do that. Go ahead. Do it during the blind race. Oh, okay. You're going to be that guy. Okay. Going for world record in a blind race. Uh, I guess it is, DJ. Uh, right now it is. We still have... We, there's ideas. There's theory crafts. Like... Part of the thing Chansey told us is he's thinking Psyduck might be a better starter, but I honestly, like both of us, there's too many drawbacks to Psyduck to think that he can help us in any way. 
At least in save and quit. And no save and quit, Skitty is definitely the best. Oh, crap. We in there. So there's just a lot of movement optimization that we had to go through in Dungeon to just figure out how we can get from point A to point B the fastest. Also, I'm not picking up that gummy there because we don't need that gummy because it'll lower the damage frustration does, which is bad. So... Floor, floor 5... Yeah. Um, a thing to note... The floor, floor 5 in that dungeon where there was the Hound Doom and we just kind of went down and like all the way across the dungeon. There's a power band in that, in one of those rooms that we didn't grab. We used to, we used to route, we used to grab it, we used to route around to grab it. But again, frustration is base damage. <laughs> We're sorry, yeah. Quality. Okay, so um, right now uh, in the story, Shiftry got abducted up here by Zapdos. And Zapdos is saying, fight me, so we're gonna go fight him. Yeah. And then the t the big, whatever this team is called, Charizard. It has to be IRL, so he's disconnecting right now. Yeah. So this this team of Alakazam, Tyranitar, Charizard, I don't even remember what their team is anymore. ACT. They, ACT, yeah, sure. They they come up to you and they're like, oh, Ch uh, Zapdos is really scary. Are you sure you want to fight him? And um, if, you, if you stick up to it and you say, yes, I want to fight him, each of them say their little spiel. And then they're like, okay, you can go. But if you say that you're scared, like straight up scared, no, they'll you skip all that. Hurts. Okay. <laughs> if they say your stomach hurts, they'll just straight up. medical issue to let you go. Yeah, they'll just not say those lines, and they'll just skip right to it. So that's one of the examples of selecting a different answer than the first one, just because it's faster. We used to act... <laughs> We used, at least I used to not know that until Worcester did his save and quit run. Until, I didn't know it until Worcester did it. <laughs> Alright, so we have to do some housekeeping for Mount Thunder. I'm gonna go look for jobs because I'm very... I just want my jobs now. I don't really want to risk not getting the jobs. Yeah, I'm missing only one mission. Uh, that's the second mission for um, for Mount for Tiny Woods. But I I have all my stuff now, so that's good. But what we're also going to do is we're going to go link to our two of our frustrations together. You can link the same move together in this game, and we can do that to just pump pump out 90 damage instead of 45 damage, and we can theoretically pump out 180 damage a turn if we want to get four frustration TMs. And then we also link Squirtle's Tackle Tail up together just for a little bit of damage. A little bit of thrown in damage in there. Dude, these floors have been great to me this run. Okay. I hope my floors are good to me. Please? <laughs> Please. Please. Oh, that's not good. Okay. It's probably like three X, two enemies next to me. Immediately. No, you can't join my team. That, that, that's what we're talking about. That's why Wigglytuff's bad in this game. Okay. That's great. I totally want to roll that. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So. So, that band in my that band in my screen right now, if you can see it, is um, the special band we used to pick up. We just dumped anyone because we don't need it. It's just some special band that we used to know. If you want to think of it that way, you can think of it that way. That was just some neglected item on our screen. That was bad. So I'm actually at... really used to help. It used to help a crap ton. Because at the end of the game, Squirtle does like a di one damage or two damage points. Because of our low level. I'm actually going to go out of my way to pick up this cherry berry here because I need a cherry berry and I tossed mine out because I thought I wouldn't need it. But now I got it. So floor 10 is an interesting thing to it. We're actually going to hesitate a little bit. We're going to hold B and A a little bit. 
um, before we move on after a certain point so people get out of our way. Is this how this is this how this run's gonna go? I'm gonna have really good floors, but then not have good peaks. <laughs> oh crap! I messed up. I got poisoned by poison sting too. That means it's, I'm just gonna waste a crap ton more time. Just trying to like getting stopped by the poison. <laughs> so yeah, like RNG is super variant, like. We can get good runs, and then like like I had really good floors all the way up until this point, and then I just didn't. I had a really, I wouldn't say a really bad floor. I had a decently bad floor. The floors have not been particularly kind to me. How much damage does Zapdos do to you? Like thirteen. I have no idea. Oh goodness gracious! I'm just gonna hope it's like less than thirteen. So like every stair floor for this is like it's not been nice to me, but every time I found it, it's been like ah, you found me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm finding it on my own. So Zapdos is the first instance of this run where we're going to use something called Cute Charm. Skitty has the Cute Charm ability, which um, gives infatuation upon some like physical hits. And Cute Charm is pretty broken in this game. Cute Charm is... In general is... Infatuation in general is broken. Yeah, infatuation is super broken in this game. So we're just going to Cute Charm him so he becomes infatuated. Oh, we're about to talk about it, Flames. <laughs> uh, because uh, the way this works is that... Um... Attraction is not like it is in normal Pokemon games where it's like a 50-50 chance. If you're attracted, you cannot move. You cannot do anything. If you're attracted, you cannot do anything. So it's it's pretty... Pretty dumb. Or not dumb, but it's pretty, pretty neat. Um, we... Time to read some donations. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Five dollars from Mash. Uh, he says uh, he's donated into the Ocarina of Time file name, and he wants it to be Lurk Chain because he says uh, I, I know what people want. Uh, thanks for your five dollar donation. Uh, we got a ten dollars from Tim Rod saying donating for turning my run into a train wreck. Thank you for your run and your ten dollars, Tim Rod. And then we have one dollar from Glitchimon uh, who wants the Ocarina of Time file name to be Nutshack. Thank you for your $1, Pokemon. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Yeah. Shift reset for you, because we, we, uh, we fight. <laughs> yeah. We so now... We fried him IRL, so he was pleased, so we let go of our uh, hostage. So, the upcoming dungeon in this game, I think, is my favorite dungeon in this speedrun. There's a couple... Oh, me too. There's a couple floors on here that we just can't really explain. All we have to just say is that just vi because video game, because of precise movement. <laughs> Definitely because... start. Yeah, this is my favorite dungeon as well. It's just I like how technical it is. It's like... got some of my favorite music in the game. But if we don't get a first a good first floor, it could like it could just cost us time, not because of the, the enemies being hard. Like there's just a lot of weird time wasting enemies in this dungeon. Like uh there's a Dunsparce in the next dungeon, it could use Yawn. Yeah. Um I'm pretty sure all the all the Cacne has no um Pin missile. No, and hypnosis or yeah. Stun Spore or something like that. Yeah, they're very annoying. Like we're not we're not at any fault of dying. Also there's like I'm fairly certain Skiploom knows Splash. Oh, do and there's also Doduos oh, that know okay. Fury yeah, Attack. I meant, I meant, uh, I meant Skiploom. There's also Doduos that know Fury Attack that can take multiple seeds from you at an instant. That's fun. Just happened to me. <laughs> nice. Hello? Okay, there they are. So... I'll, I'll talk about it more when it gets there. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of just technical stuff that we've actually, like, looked at pretty extensively and saying, oh, hey, this saves very minimal amount of time because of this and that. And Floor 2 is the first example. Usually we would fight this fan fee that's here, but if we actually just walk, if we if we just don't run and we walk there, we can just let fan fee attack Squirtle, and it's actually, like, half a second faster. Poor Squirtle, though. Oh, rip. Okay. 
Actually, and also, um, if you haven't noticed, we can diagonal through water if it's there. And we use that a lot just for, um... As long as there's not a wall, we can diagonal. Yeah. So we like used... lava or something like that. So on floor, what is this, five, six? We used to get a link box from this Murkrow, but we just don't anymore because we don't need it. After we get double first station, we don't link anything else up. Also, we uh, in floor 7, we go around that loop. You'll, we'll be going around some loops in this dungeon. Yeah, I'll be going down a, around a lot of loops. Good, good amount of loops. We're going up uh, around another four loops in this dungeon. So floor 10 is pretty technical. You're going to see me doing a lot of weird things, and it's because of manipulation. There's not really anywhere, anywhere else I can explain it to you. So this is the floor. I'm just going to shut up so I don't mess this up. Like clockwork. Anyway, that's that's like the most technical floor in this game. Followed by the second most technical floor in this game. I almost messed up. So yeah. So this is Atu. Uh, this was kind of I wouldn't say it's a meme, but there's this there's this little thing with Zatu. About I'm excited. I'm excited about not messing up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when you meet Zatu and it just doesn't respond, you can do one of two things. You can attack him, or you can tickle him. Uh, attacking him is faster. It's so much faster, like 15, well, 20 seconds is, faster. Uh, is what you want to do if you want the memes. Yeah, it's a quality, quality meme. Like, um... But I like 20 seconds, so I'll pick a 10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the world record, like, the world record that stood for, like, 8 months tickled the Zatu. Oh, where's his run to tickle him? Yeah, his 216 tickled him. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Worcester. Worcester did uh, make a lot of contributions to this run. Um, back when Saving Quake came out, he made it. Uh, he made a lot of things readily available. Um, I don't think his route, per se, was very well available when he started running, but he did find some like alterations for the route we're using right now. Because, like, it used to be like, oh, by the way, if you find frustration, this is what you do on these floors. But then we decided to, um, to do the Wonder Mail codes to get the frustration, and that became the basis for this run. Yeah. Like, we started with those floors that he, um, that he had, uh, written as alterations to the normal floors, so it saved us a little bit of work. You can't hear me? Can't hear me. Because I'm really, really loud on my stream. Really? Dang. Feels bad, man. Anyway, whatever. Let's get closer to the mic. I'm working on it. <laughs> Cap it. So, like, um, you've seen it a couple times. Oh, Josh is talking pretty quiet. That's... I need you to what, what was I saying? Oh, like, we've, there's been a couple times, if you've been noticing, there's, like, things we've been talking about. Or, like, uh, like text options we've chosen yeah, certain ways, just because it's faster. And, like, the one right after Great Canyons, like, if you just mash A, it's really funny, because you end up just having a conversation with your uh, partner about where... Uh, where you come from, and you're just like, I came from the sky. I came from up there. Don't. I... No, uh, it's saying like, where's the world's uh, like, what is the world's balance? And you say you know what it is, and they say it's in space. <laughs> <laughs> it's quality. You become a quality memer uh, to your partner. But I'll, I'll take the thirty seconds. I don't know about you. You did it. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. He oh, just made me... said, I'll, I'll, I'll take the 30 second hit. <laughs> no. Okay, so my mic should be better now. I'm sorry for having it be far away. <clears throat> Let me know if that sounds better, guys. <laughs> oh crap, I need to play this video again. So this is, this is actually pretty close. 
This is by far the most boring part of this run. We have eight minutes of cutscene followed by a Resident Sleeper-esque dungeon. In difficulty, you mean? No, in like terms of well in terms of difficulty and in like how good it is of a watch Okay, so not to make the we're not gonna try to make the commentary as boring as this section of the game. Yeah, that's true. I just um, like spaced out. Yeah, I was really spaced yeah, out. When 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 you hold B and you just like don't need to mash, you just get spaced out. That's the only like that's the only flaw of this game is that there's so much downtime. That, like it's such a chill game. I just like mash a, I just mash A sometimes to keep my like my APM up. Yeah, so you're, you're, just not doing nothing. True. True. So this is this is like this game goes from this game goes from like zero to quit like zero to one hundred APM really quickly. Yeah, and then it just goes from like one hundred to zero like super quickly as well. But like, anyway, we go from holding B the whole time to like, um, to like pushing A L and uh, moving all the direction pads around really quickly. Like this game, like fluctuates from how much buttons you need to push <laughs> very frequently. Because like this game can be so fast. Like um. We're just not there yet. So in Explorers of Sky, this it's a six-hour game, right? The world record is like 60, 601.41, 601.42, 602.49, whatever it is. Um, and I want to say four hours of that's cutscenes. Yeah, it's funny that the also uh, it's just a very randomized game. Like the task is like five thirty. Yeah, almost as good as my um, in-game time for my run. Oh, I have the world record for Explorers of Sky. Um, if it's PMD1, I have the world record. If it's PMD2, he has the world record. If it's anything after that, it's probably cool, bro. Yeah. I've held the world record for this game a couple times, but the world record right now is just a little unbeatable. It'll take some grinding to beat, but it's I don't a think solid time. It's a decent so I What time did I lose in that run? I lost a lot of floor one time. Like, at least three minutes of time just to bad floor ones. Also, shoutouts to this Gengar that frames you and then makes you go on a fugitive segment for almost an hour. And I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna spoil. And uh, that made me... Something he did. Um, <laughs> that makes me um, remember, there's a lot of people that like watch this speedrun because it's a really easy way to f see the whole game in like yeah, three hours. Yeah, the text is really easy to come up with. Uh, it's sorry, to keep up with. Yeah, it's very easy to read. It's it's like it's not Gates level easy to keep up with, <laughs> but it's it's pretty easy to keep up with. So like, yeah, this I, guy as well. I know a lot of people like to chill in my stream and just lurk because they're like, oh, I like watching the story of this game just for the the, the game. And then, like, the end of this, this long cutscene here has, like, I think the third best soundtrack in the game, in my opinion. Because it's just, like, it's, like, it's, like, Bible thump. It's, like, really big Bible thump, but then it, like, lifts you up from the Bible thump. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're about halfway through the game right now. Are we? No, we're not. We're a little bit less than halfway through. Like, yeah, a little bit less. Like, we're a, about to be halfway through the game. Like, this next yeah. dungeon will basically be about the halfway point. Oh, crap, I hit no by mistake. I should have probably... <laughs> I have enough seeds like, for a few. You're only, second. like, 20 seconds ahead of me. Nice, nice. Um, so, as pacing goes, I don't really want to look at the timer. But, um, usually, the end, like, 
right after we get through this next dungeon, anything like below 57 minutes is um, is a pretty good time. It's a really good time actually if it's below 57 minutes. But um, we've, we've made quite the mistakes, so we might not be anywhere close yeah. to there. I don't know. I don't we, started, we started with mistakes very early. <laughs> Forgetting well, to do the Wonder Mail in the beginning of the game. That was like the only big mistake we did after though. I, after I realized I forgot, I'm like, damn, Jacob didn't forget. <laughs> but then I forgot too. So, we're, we're perfectly. So if we get enough donations, will you eventually pay for my flight? <laughs> sure, man. Sure, man. Catherine. Quality. Quality. Nope. I mean, like this, this, all this is going for the uh, yeah, venue this is all cost. For the, for the, this is this whole marathon's for the North American Speedrun Assembly thing to happen. So if you really want to see that happen, please go ahead and donate. Well, it, it's like lowering the cost to happen. I'm fairly certain it'll happen either way. But it's like if if you want to go and like have it happen more smoothly, I guess donate. That's what it is. And also, um, most of the reason why I'm doing it here is because I would not have the ability to go. So I would, I want to do whatever I can to help. Yeah, Sam. Because we're, we're both like southern half of the United States. Like we yeah. can't, we can't go up to Canada. So I just want to contribute. Is the stream broken again? Hello. Is are I'll you? Check No, the stream's not broken. Okay. I think my stream. Oh, uh, oh my stream's like lagging. Holy. Oh, there's no audio. Hmm, that's weird. There's no game audio. There's us, though. That's interesting. Why is there no game audio? I don't know. I'm streaming game audio. I think they switched to you. I'm like really, really low game audio. I can try to, I can turn it up a little bit and see what happens. So there's a there's a lot of movement stuff that we're trying to. Like the floor four. What was it? I just did some weird movement in order to get around the new arena. I can't remember if or I don't know if Josh did it or not. But okay. nice. Cause that's a, that's like one of the newest strats of this run. Also, shoutouts to the facade team we go right past and never pick up. Sorry, I, I wish they would have told me that so I could have punched it up to the next level. Uh, if you can hear this... Turn that up? Yeah, I was going to... I'm turning that up to like double what it was. I think they said they switched audio sources because of me. Because of my stream freezing up earlier. Yeah. Uh, there is. Um, in this game, uh, like any of you, is actually the world record holder for all icons, which is our 80% plus post-game category. So yeah, like the icons, there's no, there's no real hundred way to 100% this game, right? Like there is, but there's no feasible way to speed run it. Realistic way. So we have, there's the icons that pop up. Um, yeah. So like all the icons and that. that yeah, and that includes getting or uh, defeating Mewtwo, recruiting Lugia, recruiting Ho Oh, getting Celebi, so we have to go through Purity Forest. Purity Forest is a really fun watch. Uh, if you search up Mistaldi on like YouTube or something, he has a video of his save and quit for Purity Forest, and that's really good stuff. Like it's really cool to watch it all unfold because like 
I mean, one of the things we can manipulate is if we teleport on a certain tile at a certain point, we can teleport right to the stairs. And that's really fun to watch, like, how it unfold all unfolds. Okay. Audio's good, right? I believe audio's good. So, and Lapis Cave kind of just came and gone, like, super quickly. Mountain Blaze is kind of the same thing. We don't really do anything super substantial in Mountain Blaze that's, like, super mind-blowing or anything. Like, Floor 4, we did a weird movement just just to, like, avoid a normal. That's about it. And also, uh, post-game is twice as long as the any percent, like, regular game stuff. I'm also safe, I'm safety saving on this Mount Blaze because I'm very scared of something called Fero and something called Fury Attack. Because those things could, like, almost one-shot you. Because, so, like, we should probably, I should probably explain kind of why Fury Attack's so broken. Uh, Fury Attack is a multi-hit move, right? And multi-hit moves are kind of just insanely broken in this game. Like, they're basically five tackles, in, or up to five tackles in a row. Now, coming from us, it doesn't sound so deadly. But coming from enemies in this dungeon that are adequately leveled, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty, pretty bad. Oh, I have to do the level 12 okay, strat here. I forgot to quick. I forgot to save, but it worked out. <laughs> what? You're so. Uh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay. I got a stair right. floor. You, you got a good. You okay, good, good. I gotta do some weird alternate strat because of dumb. I'm level twelve on both. Yeah. So you have to do the alt strat. Since we're so low the level, we actually have to do certain different inputs just because we're that level. Okay. Yeah, I came up with these stats. Or the one on the one on the twelve tour. Wouldn't be surprised. You're, you're, I think you're in the middle of a run and you bait me like <laughs> Yeah yeah that's right. <laughs> that, that's right. Because I was such at a low curve. Um So <laughs> Halakry over here. Uh waits until he dies on something on a really good pace and then does decides to route it. Now so, wait a second. <laughs> now wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> you're totally right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just how things work, because good strats don't exist until I die on something, unfortunately. And he forces that's himself to... That's just how then. things are. <laughs> like, there was no zero seed strat for Rayquaza, which is the final boss in this game, until I died to it, thinking I had a seed. Yeah, and then and now we have a one seed strat, a two seed strat, and a three, and a we don't have a three seed strat. That's dumb. Can't even tell you that many times, Kevin. But you're good. We're too good. Okay, so I just finished my trace. I'm like, I want to say I'm like thirty seconds ahead of you, so. That's fine. This isn't over yet. Most people the think like there's a lot of variance in this game. Yeah. It's like I'd say we're neck and neck right now. Basically. Like, this is within the neck and neck parameter. Like, this is within a point where, like, if he gets some really, really bad luck on 4 1 and I get it instantly, it could be being late. So, unless he's like a minute or two minutes ahead of me, this is, this can go either way. How is your floor 1 on a peak? Oh, it's stair floor. Yeah, so is mine. Like, I saved and I got in there and I'm like, oh, right next to the stairs, K. Well, I just basically did the same thing you did then, except I didn't save. <laughs> Quality. I will save on uh, our Magma Cavern and Sky Tower, though. I promise. Sky Tower's not even that promise. bad, because we have we have frustration. It just depends on how many seeds we have, if we want to save or not. Which I actually do not know how many seeds I have. Well, it used to matter. Back when I was, like, seriously on the grind for world record in this game. 
Is that before frustration or after frustration? Before frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> You know, we had the P we had the make PMD great again movement. You Things still doing great. It, it was crooked good. frustration one. Yeah. Please. Okay. I guess this next dungeon's really easy, but there's a, there's something weird in the middle of this dungeon, where um, it's a cutscene, but it's the only cutscene in the game you can't hold B through. So, we so we're to... actually going to be mashing through that cutscene. It's like a mid-dungeon cutscene. It's the only time in the game where it's like this. Um, and, and because it's the only time in the game where that happens, they didn't program it correctly. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. It sounds right to me. It's the only time in the game where there's a mid-dungeon cutscene. Oh, please just deal with it. Cool, thank you for the crit. Hello? Where are you? Where are you? You're over there, aren't you? Okay. See, this is what I'm talking I'm about. I'm trying to tell you already Yeah. Like, Did I had to go- floor one? No. I had a terrible floor one. <laughs> I, so it was like, it was a loop, but then there was an offshoot to the loop that I didn't go through because I didn't think it was worth it, but the stairs were in that offshoot. So I liked the loop three or- I had to loop like two times before I was able to do it. Also, these ferrets are ex extremely powerful for some reason. Ferrets? F what- yeah. This- Is that how you- is, is that how you it's say- ferret. Yeah, but that's the plural of fear- a ferret. Is it though? I don't know. Are you, cr are you creating these plurals? My man? Oh. Oh, hey. Who gives you the right? Um, I have a record in this category. I think I have the right. <laughs> You're right, man. Okay, here's the mashing we, we were talking about. It's like super easy mashing. It's like... It's, it's like Gates style of text speed. So it's like super easy to mash through. But it's like so weird. Because it's you, you don't you don't expect to be able to, or to have to mash through anything in this game. Dang it, I have an arrow. What? Like that, man. Oh, it feels a, like you I had you had an arrow. Right yeah. That can happen if you're bad at video games. Yeah. I'll save here because I'm scared. <laughs> What is there? Uh, Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn ain't nothing. Fury attack. I mean, if you play smart, sure, they're nothing. But you know how we well, play I these games. Well, I died to Laron. Did you like I lost, a, I lost a seed on floor eight of Frosty Forest. <laughs> Wait, did you I not? Messed up, the, messed up the movement. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh well, I'm about to get another Reviver Seeds. So yeah, there's actually, there's actually two Reviver Seeds in this uh, peak. One of them we can't get. Or we could technically get it, but we don't need, we can't, we don't really want to. We're just gonna say, bye Matang, we don't really want to fight you. Okay. And just go through. Also, f this floor 3 is incredibly simple, but it's so easy to mess up. Cause like, there's just a lot of like weird things going on with it. So Articuno is the strongest bird out of all three of them, and it's the and it's the bird we use for all icons after we can't we don't have to use Skitty anymore, and uh, it it knows a pretty powerful move called Powdered Snow. That at this point in the game, if we, if we got powdered snow, that's two reviver seeds gone, that gone down the hatch. Can't do anything about them. But because of manipulation, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, I died. What? I I didn't die. I died. I lost a seed. I didn't go. I didn't walk over the water. Oh really? Yeah. I 
I thought you were in this game, Jake. Kappa. I thought I did too. I, I don't think I made it here, though. <laughs> nice meme. I, no, I honestly didn't make it here. I think I might run died in a... I run died in Great King. Also, there's another cute charm thing that we take advantage of because cute charms pretty overpowered. Oh, we're not supposed to learn water gun. That's right, because we don't. We, I need to go turn it off again. Uh, okay, that's okay. Yeah, like we usually don't learn sing, don't learn. Water gun, because we don't need those two moves. Like at all. Jacob, I just want to let you know the stuff I was practicing today is way faster than this. Alrighty. <laughs> Keepo. It was just in the back of my mind, I had to say it. <laughs> We're currently routing a new route for this, but this is the current route we have. Um, yeah. Like, um, as you can tell, Squirrel doesn't really do much. But we have an idea of using four Frustration TMs and teaching two to Squirrel, two to us. Because we kind of still need, um, uh, a track. So we can't do four on ourselves. And it's actually we pretty... We can. We can do three on ourselves, but yeah. that's too many. And most of the things die in with the 90 health. Most most of the things in this game don't have 90 health anyway. So, just an extra attack. Basically, of... it would allow Squirrel to protect himself and it would help with boss fights. Why does your stream keep freezing, Josh? My stream's freezing? Yeah. Yeah, it's been doing that a little bit throughout. Slightly switched to audio, so... Who is the better internet now, Halfie? I haven't dropped any frames. I don't know why either. <laughs> maybe screen one is not my day. It's okay. Not, not the, not the. Maybe it doesn't like me very much. I don't know. It's okay. So. Hey, do you oh. mind if I give a reminder to the stream? Sure. Yeah. We have an upcoming uh, incentive uh, bid war that is coming up. Uh, which Pokemon game you would like to see in about like, two ish hours? Pokemon Gold, 20%, which is currently in the lead with $5, or Pokemon Yellow without save corruption, which currently has a ton of games towards it. So, if you'd like to see Pokemon Yellow instead, it's up like 6 bucks. There you go. Uh, to repeat what he said, because he's kind of low on my um, Discord, uh, there's a donation incentive coming up po uh, for glitched Pokemon, Pokemon Gold or Pokemon Yellow, and you said Pokemon Gold was in the lead? By, by five dollars. Yeah. By five dollars. Maybe you should turn your Discord up. <laughs> I, I did. That's why people can't hear me. Alright. But anyways, uh, we're going into Mount Freeze now. This dungeon is the first, is the only dungeon in the game where we're required to have a third Pokemon through it. Um, so as such, uh, he's a pain. And it, you only, like, that's the reason we get a lot of questions where it's like, why don't you just recruit this Pokemon and use it here? And Because recruited Pokemon are basically reviver-seeding wasters. That's why I actually turn off Item Master. You can actually, Absol can die, and you can continue. He's not a required partner, but you can't and send actually, him away. Um, in this in this game and Sky, you can't take, um, you can't take your team members to, like, story dungeons like these. So it's like, if we could use them in some dungeons, yeah, but we couldn't use them in all of them. There's a lot of parts in this game, including the final area where we can't take any partners. Yeah. It's not like actual, it's not like regular Pokemon where we can just recruit certain things. It doesn't work that way. Like, af after, the after the end game, after the end card, you can use whatever Pokemon you want, which is why we recruit Articuno for our bidding in the All Icons category. So, Mount Freeze is pretty basic, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, there's nothing really, like, monumentally, like, different, not, not different, but monumentally, like, interesting about this course. There's just a lot of snow in it. And actually, that's why, uh, Chanciness was talking about using Psyduck 
for this game because there's uh, Psyduck has a ability called Cloud Nine, right? Where just weather events do not happen; they just don't occur, and there's no text notifying you about it. They just don't occur. So we're thinking if we have Psyduck as our starter, all these times where weather's fought, where there's like snow or hail, where we just um don't really need it there, don't really want it there, and it wastes time of it like notifying us it's there, we can just eliminate that. But I don't know man, Chansey's pretty crazy. He's also saying he can cut 10 minutes from this game. And... I mean, I don't believe he can't. Has he got sub 230 in this game on a keyboard on the, on the facade route? Yeah. And, That's pretty insane and, on and, uh, The only partners you can have are Pikachu and the starters. You can't have any other partner. So we can't use Psyduck as a partner. Psyduck as a partner would be like Haven. It would be the best thing ever. But it just doesn't work that way. They did expand the partners a lot in PMD2. Yeah. Can't you... When we say PMD2, we're referring to Pokemon Mystery Engine Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky. It's, it's like the second generation, you could say, of Pokemon games. Of PMD Pokemon games. games. Yeah, not Pokemon Technically games. Technically Gen 4. It's is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's because this yeah, one... Because this one has two Pokemon in Gen 4 that make an appearance. Lucario and Munchlax. Yeah. And Mime Jr. Oh, I don't know where Mime Jr. is. I've never seen Mime Jr. It's a, it's a statue. Ah. So now we have Are a road. Are you done with Mount Freeze? Yeah, I'm in the cutscene. I, I just got it when it four one. Yeah, cool. There's this there's just this really long cutscene that we just we need to deal with. It's dumb. It's like two minutes. Yeah, and the the thing holding Psyduck back is actually it's typing. So in PMD there's different like fields of view. There's like the ground, which everyone can walk on. There's water, which only flying type flying Pokemon and water Pokemon can walk on. There's lava, which only fire and flying Pokemon can walk on. And then there's sky, which only flying Pokemon can walk on. And um, if if you're a water type, it like how this game works with the running mechanics is it goes t t it brings you from point A to point B, and that point B is whenever you have the option to move a different direction. So if you're surrounded by water like some of these floors are, that you can't really run anywhere. You have to like just... Oh, I guess we could, I guess we could walk. Oh. Yeah. That's like the only option we could think of. Yeah, like you would just lose so much time uh, having to stop every water tile. Because some of these dungeons are just so many. Yeah, and there's frame buffers in between, like, you getting to a point and you being able to move again. And it's different from running and walking, and for running it's actually longer than walking. As far as I know. So... Psyduck could be faster if we figure out non-water uh, routes of things. But there's some dungeons like um, Silent Chasm that we went through a while ago. The one with the power band in it, that one's just filled with water. So there's no way to really get around it. Yeah, because it's like a mountain. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and the higher we go, the more water we see, so someone explain that to me. <laughs> yes. I don't understand that either. It's Pokemon logic. No, no one needs it's Pokemon some logic. Minecraft logic right there. Oh, crap. Yeah. So now, this is like the best part, this is the best cutscene in the game for me, because you freaking chew Gengar out and then he just leaves, and you don't really ever see him again. You see him once. Until post -game. Yeah, until uh, post-game. Until like late game, and then we see him again in post-game. Yeah. Serves sure, Gengar, right? The only person I hated more than Gengar in these games was um, Shiftry in Super. And if you played Super, you understood, or you understand why. Shiftry and Medley. 
Oh, no, it's leaf. That's right. It's not shift tree. <laughs> that's right. Like, shift trees are not in this game. What are you talking about, man? I hate his southern accent. There, I said it. What? Leslie talks like a... What y'all doing over there? Like, he talks like... In like a southern accent. Oh, I didn't even realize that. When I played it. Well, I live in Texas, so I hear it all the time. So, yeah. like, when I read it, I hear it. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> anyway, so... Yeah, there's just, there's just a lot of cutscenes at this point. Um, there's going to be some decently late, uh, long cutscenes for the rest of the game, so if you ever have any donations, I'll read just go ahead. Oh crap, I need to move. I thought I was another cutscene. That's how this game goes. <laughs> Quality. I, I am known for dozing off and not paying attention during my runs. Yet he still holds the record for two of them. It's the best two, man. It's save and quit and it's dank memes. You also have a world record for a uh, single segment in this game, right? That's, uh, yeah, that's right. Just making sure I have my stuff together. <gasps> so he's pulling ahead a little bit. Like I said, this race is never yet. Uh, there's something called Magma Cavern Basement Floor. <laughs> basement Floor 1 of the pit. There's only oh one. God, like, yeah, I'll save there for sure. So the thing about that, it's way far in advance. It's like thirty minutes in advance. But there's two Pokemon in it. There's Onix and there's Steelix, and they both have more than ninety HP, and they both can one shot you, and they both have the access to Dragon Breath, which is a, a range move. Range move. So like, they can kill you from like any distance, and it's very scary. They but have it's, no mercy. And it's only one floor, so like. If you get really good RNG, it's not a problem. If you get really bad RNG, it's a big problem. It costs you run. Unfortunately, I've had many. We we both have many runs lost there. Yeah. Alright, so it's three, four, two. Oh crap! I forgot to throw the rock. I forgot I had to throw the rock. Yeah, and there's like. There's minimal differences in between how we run this game. There's some stuff that we just find better, like I, there's a strat there that I usually throw a rock at the Voltor to kill it. Anyway. Ooh, I should have actually inventory managed before this. Just hope I wasted enough items. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, my favorite Pokemon is Beware. And mine is definitely Goomy. Not not Gooch or Sligoo. Both of them are ugly. Just Goomy. Beware just looks like he gives the best hugs. <laughs> uh, I can agree with that. What is it? In Sun and Moon, my favorite Pokemon in Sun and Moon are some um, Rowlet and whatever his Decidueye, whatever the heck his name is. Decidueye? Yeah. I, th I thought I was close. Um, uh, Sun and Moon, mine, uh, still be beware. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Gumi's technically in Sun and Moon. Yeah. But it's not a Gen 7 Pokemon. Oh, uh, yeah, I got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, man. Part of me feels like I forgot something, but I, I, inside I really know I didn't. I hope you didn't. I hope Nobody. this race stays a little close. Alright, good. I got <laughs> I'm scaring myself, man. It feels bad. Feels bad, man. Pre-NASA went from normal to bronze. That's really good. Quality. So, um, we, the missions we have to do left are four missions to trigger a cutscene, and then two missions to trigger a cutscene. We haven't really talked about missions, but in certain increments in the game, we need to do X amount of missions in order to trigger the next progress the event, progress the story. And Luckily, we... um, all the missions that are due, like, they can all be done in one dungeon each. Like, luckily there's no point where there's five missions required, because then we'd need to either do five missions in a longer dungeon or break it up. 
luckily all the dungeon amounts are like reasonable. And yeah. in Sky, it's even better because in, in the beginning of the Explorers of Sky, you just have to do three missions and two, and two missions, and then you just have to do one mission every day for the rest of the game. So yeah, they make it simple. So what I was getting to is we have I had five missions before I went to the mailbox. And um, we need to get, we need to have six in total, two in Tiny Woods and four in some other dungeon. So well, I already picked up three in Mount Steel, and I have those three in Mount Steel, but I need an extra one. But thankfully, there's one in the mailbox for us, and it's a really easy floor three Mount Steel mission. Yeah, at first we were like, oh god, uh, is that always the Mount? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. At first we weren't sure if it was consistent, but it's a very consistent mission. It's always going to be a Pidgey. It's always going to be a floor three. It's always going to be annoying to pin down and get. I don't know, the Pidgey on floor 3 moves very erratically. Yeah. And this one one thing that hasn't really been panned out of this route yet is that, um, that, f that uh, floor where the Pidgey is. We used to, like, do some crazy loop around some, like, floor. But that doesn't really work anymore with the frustration. So we don't really know. <laughs> it's 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 hard to say we don't really know what to do, but we, we kinda know what to do. It's just slower. So uh another thing to like touch on is that um like there's a seed, right? But how you move the in the seed affects what happens after you move. So if you A attack is different if you um A attack something then actually use your moves on it. And since frustration does not check for a crit, uh, frustration advances the RNG differently than normal moves. So that changes routes up. So like, uh, Halkri was talking before about how certain dungeons, or like how Worcester had to do alternative notes if he had frustration or not, and that's why. Oh crap, do I have... Do I have enough inventory space for these chestnuts? I just cleared inventory space at the job board. I, I completely forgot that. Let's eat some plain seeds. Okay, so we need two item slots. Um, before we get to floor 9. So in order to progress the story, we need to feed these mankeys that we're about to fight up. Three chestnuts, uh, and we get one from the mission, but we need two more. And usually there's only one that spawns, but with a quick save, we actually there's two that spawn, so we need to just pick up both of them as fast as possible. And I actually can't remember, so I'm just going to wing it. I think this is a slightly slower strat. Oh no, I did the correct strat. Cool. Yeah, no, I did not. Whoops. That's okay, that was just slightly slow. Oh, I, I know what I did wrong. I'm dumb. Anyway, so yeah, there's, uh, in the no saving quick category where we don't use the quick saves, there's this phenomenon we call double chestnut, which is basically just completely RNG, and if we don't get two chestnuts on our first go round, we have to go through the dungeon again entirely, the whole ten floors again. To get that second chestnut. And from what I've seen, double chestnut kind of is like a little bit less than half the time. So that's just a little tidbit for you. Did did my man just die? Hello? Alrighty. So like these <laughs> these manky come back and they're just like, yo, give us some, give us, or like we're, we're ready to fight again, and we're like, why don't here's a here's a chestnut, and they go all crazy for them. So we're like, why don't you do work for us for uh, chestnuts? And they're like, sure, and that's how we rebuild the base. Rebuilding the base is actually that something. That was pretty much a perfect upper forest. Nice. You actually got the strat. Cool. Yeah, and I got a good floor one as well. Did you get a good floor? Oh, I got a decent floor one. <laughs> I 
I don't think I've ever seen you get a bad four and one in my life. I mean, you don't watch me good or enough then. Because <laughs> tell you what, I, work, I, work, I usually work while you're streaming. So yeah, that's true. Actually, no, you're usually working or you're like actually streaming yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the thing about both being streamers. You never have enough, uh, having being a streamer or having a full time job. You don't really have enough time to watch your boy. But that's where auto hosting comes in and makes things much easier. Yeah, you can just auto host. I don't know. It feels like auto hosting just made hosting like less of a uh, less important, less important less thing. Meaningful. Yeah, less meaningful thing. Because it was like something you usually do before you um, raided someone. It was like to build hype. Where it was like, go check this guy out. He's pretty cool. But now it's just like, these these guys are cool people. You just need to check them out. Here's here's a hosting thing. It's like sometimes we're not even there, so it's like. You don't want to thank us because, like, because we're not in the stream. We're not there to hear you thank us for hosting you. I am. Shout out to Sweeney Todd for always auto hosting me. I feel like he only <laughs> he, he only auto hosts me and Josh, and usually one of us is online and another one of us is offline. Yeah. So we're usually hosted by ten followers, Sweeney. Shout out to the entire PME community. A lot of them just put us on our auto hoster, which I appreciate. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, yeah, now it's just, it's basically a cutscene, but we can move in it. Basically. I mean, like, we can't, we don't have free mobility in it. Basically. We just, we just have to, like, just go to point A, feed him, feed Mankey some stuff, take, take your, take your chestnuts so you can rebuild the base so we can get on with the story. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay, you're like 20 seconds ahead of me. Quality. Right. <sighs> so, um, the ne so after we finish feeding these mankeys and chestnuts, we're just gonna be doing more missions. Yeah. Really, nothing really happens until after the missions. Um, yeah, and then there's just the, the last two dungeons of the game, and then we're actually done. So it it seems like we're really close, but there's a lot of cutscene. So we're, we're more like an hour, or not like a little under an hour off. There's so many cutscenes. Do we need uh, a speedrun version of Blue Rescue Team too? Yeah. Oh goodness, we do four missions, right? I'm not dumb, or am I actually pretty dumb? Yeah, we do four missions, that's how this works. Have fun with the Pidgey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah, me I too. Couldn't really I couldn't really find anything useful in like the 20 minutes oh. I tried. Oh, do you still have Tackle? Because that might be a thing. If we tackle the Pidgey, since RNG yeah, is still progressive have, different. I still have Tail or Tackle. <laughs> Then that might be a thing. Oh, wait, no, I don't no. Have to on now. Wait, I might. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm just not gonna go for it. So as you can see, the quick save actually does work. Like if we go to Mount Steel again, and it's the same thing over again. Oh, I do still do have tackle. Let's try something. The Aaron still shows up. Feels bad, man. Maybe you're a little bit more than 30 seconds ahead of me. <laughs> I haven't entered the dungeon yet. Already, and, and a thing to note is we actually do not quick save on floor 5. Because it's just faster to not. Let's see how well I do this floor. It's been such a long time. I don't even know if I remember this or not. Oh no, that's not correct. What bell? Then why are you here? Why are you here? Okay. Did you miss a four six? Yeah. That's okay. I had a really good floor one. I didn't. 
so that'll make up for it. Oh, I still haven't turned off water gun, that's a thing. Why are you here? I'm confused. I still haven't even learned water gun. How are you that low of level? I'm confused. I have no idea. Well, that was kind of a train wreck of a Mount Steel, but that's fine. You were- maybe I hold- maybe I- maybe I held it- held the B- A, B button too long. Cool. And that's Mount Steel Missions! I still haven't done proper inventory management yet. I mean, I ate some seeds and threw some stuff out. Okay, okay. No! Okay. I was one inventory sp space off from getting a sec another reviver seed. And I was like five voice cracks in a row. That was um, great. <laughs> okay, this Lombre is a bit of a butt, because you like people are saying, who wants to go to Magma Cavern right now? And we're like, hey, we can go to Magma Cavern right now. But then Lombre is like, you really are ready to go to Magma Cavern right and, now. And Lombre is like, no, you're not. Us. Yeah. Freaking mom, Lombre. Lombre. It's quality right there. I may have figured out too much inventory space. I do have a near mission on floor 3 at the tiny bits though. That's good. You're gonna save up, save some time on me there, because I think I need to Maybe. go to... Maybe. Depends on how good your... Depends on, depends on how good your missions are. I mean, how I... How much time I save depends on how good your missions are. Okay. I mean, uh, it depends on how good my missions are, too. Because if I, I can get a horrible floor 1 and a horrible floor 2. I need to... Crash some items, I think. I don't know how many revival seeds I have. That's the thing. I, I wanted that counter because <laughs> I don't know how many seeds I have. We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure it out when I inventory manage. Huh. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Well, I shouldn't be yawning. It's too early to be yawning. I went to bed at like 8 p.m. yesterday, which was really weird. I don't usually go to bed till like 2 p.m. Uh, 2 a.m. But like 8 p.m. I was just out and I was falling asleep in my chair. <laughs> so I made an executive decision to go to bed. Inventory management. I have so many reviver seeds, what? I probably have a decent amount, but I did lose two in, uh, in Frosty Forest. <clears throat> but those are the only two I've lost so far. Holy crap, what is this? It was like a line of Pidgeys that just came from nowhere. For me, at least. But I'm very far behind, because I'm still in the cutscene. Yeah. That cutscene was actually really long, I was surprised. I don't remember it being that long. Yeah, this race really comes down to Magma Cavern and Sky, especially Magma Cavern. Yeah, Magma Cavern can really screw you up if you, don't, if you let it. Oh, please don't hypnosis me. Okay, good. I thought he would. So an interesting thing about this game, I'm too far away from the stairs to like actually show it off. But if you're close enough to the stairs, 
um, when you get the last guy on the last floor, like in Tiny Woods 4 3, for instance, you don't want to beam out because it takes time to beam out, but it doesn't take time for you to go through stairs. So it's actually like marginally faster to just go through the stairs if you're close enough to it. Like, a couple tiles. That was awful. Floor one was really bad. But it's alright, I got the new mission. <laughs> nice. Alrighty, now we can go to Manning the Cavern. Okay, so... I was, you always have to hold your breath there to make sure you have the item you needed for the near mission. Yeah, yeah, I feel. Because sometimes I'm not really sure, I'm like, okay, I did the near- I, I did the dungeon I was supposed to, now it's, now it's time to see if I actually had the item I needed. But it did, so how W. Okay, so, uh, we're treated to a longer cutscene. Yeah, this is, eh, this is a decently long cutscene. I don't think it's longer than the last one, but it's just like, it's a thing. Gengar comes in and starts talking. It makes it way longer. Yeah. Right, at least we're finally in the same cutscene. Jesus. I'm pretty sure I'm only like... I, mean, I know I've been saying that a lot lately, I've been wrong, but I'm yeah. really feeling the 20 seconds right now. You're really feeling the 20 seconds? Oh, my video keeps on freezing, I have no idea why. It's not me, I swear. <laughs> I'm dropping no frames and I have a 10 megabyte, me megabit upload speed. <laughs> Are you streaming at the 60 FPS 720p stuff? That might be the problem. That not might, my fault? I know it's not your fault. That might be just too much data for something coming in to then redistribute out. I'm too good for the stream. Kappa. Freaking Kappa. You mean Team Pre-NASA? The lot they were involved in the Gengar thing? I don't know. Alrighty. Baba Cavern is the longest though. It feels like the longest dungeon in the game. You actually have to eat something in there because you move a lot in it. One of the good things about running Mystery Dungeon is it gives you a lot of time to get up and stretch. Yeah. There's like, there's like a half the run is like just chilling out and doing with it's like that's part of the reason why I also started because it was like I didn't want anything too high APM um, all the time kind of stuff like I didn't want to do any platforms because those have like no rest I see Mario Sunshine has three minutes to rest right at the beginning is it more like seven I mean you still have to play <laughs> yeah. three uh, there's still inputs, but there's three minutes of continuous nothing. True. Okay. <laughs> We're both in the dream now, right now, right? Yeah, I just exited the dream. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I just no. <laughs> I just entered the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're. I, now you can say you're a, ex exactly a dream behind me. <laughs> the dream of winning this race behind you. Call you. Damn it. Okay. Well, I gotta kick it into high gear. You just gotta I'm hope behind. I s screw up this. I'm behind by like cabin. at least forty seconds. I don't know. There's I actually. Just let the dream. There's actually a lot of good uh, and interesting mechanics that we use in Magma Cavern. But first, I need to actually, like, get through this dungeon without dying. So... Hold the phone. I love how he makes you say, are you ready to go, yes or no, the next day, <sighs> okay, but you can still... What just happened? Eradicate just sniped me. He didn't, he couldn't see me. There was no way he could have saw me. Actually, actually, no. There was. Was there? 
I he just killed me without me even seeing him. There's on floor one. Yep. Here's my chance. Come on, game. <laughs> Come on, game. Do me game. so good. <laughs> Fun Nido King right next to me. That's so BM. <laughs> Is it extended or is it actual VM? No, that's the question. Uh, game! I needed you! <laughs> it's okay, I'll just find like 15 shepherds on Sky Tower and this will be a race again. Off screen quick attack? <laughs> oh my god. I wanna watch this run later and see that. Also, quick save on floor 2, because that, that's not good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would have never known. I mean, it is, it's, it's an idea that for, it's, we shouldn't quick save on floor one because it's faster on average, but it's, it's a lot safer to quick save on floor one. So we know what's coming on floor two. Cause like, you know, that Raticate just came out of nowhere and killed me, right? That could have happened to me like five more times on the second floor. If I... Okay, we're going with quick saving. So that's a... That's an example of extra movement, just to skip enemies. We used to actually use really crazy weight strats on this floor, but now that Squirrel doesn't have bubble anymore, it's not really worth it. We just use the old strat of killing everything. It works pretty well. I, I forgot what I, was, what I was doing there for a second. Okay, for some reason, when I started learning this game, when I started like learning save and quit, there was a huge emphasis on that sweet scent that Mawile did, and I had no idea why. It just was there, because it was there, I guess. Also here, we actually don't even learn double slap anymore, because we don't need it. It's crazy. It's a crazy thought that we're not using an overpowered move that the game gives us on a silver platter. We, just... we have a more overpowered move that the game gives us on a silver platter. Oh, yeah, we, 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 we kind of have to cook our own food for that, though. By inputting codes. You know, you know. You don't know? I wouldn't say right. we have to cook our own food. I'd say the game's making us chew our own food. Because, like, right. it, it cooks the food for us. It gives us the wonder, wonder code generator. I gotcha. But before we didn't have to chew, but now we have to start chewing and swallowing. Alright, if that's the one time in the run we'll eat something. Because we need belly. We have like... If you have a really good... Uh... Like, really good floor one, you actually don't need to eat anything. But... Yeah, we, we both got bad floor ones. Or like, bad in that kind of sense. So this is kind of a cool floor where we're actually just holding B and A. We're getting to a certain spot, stalling until something shows up, and then going. And then this floor, we're just going to say bye to every enemy. We're going to use Q Charm to our advantage. This is another thing. I don't see Psyduck ever getting out of this floor correctly. But theory stuff. Theory crafting. Theory crafting. It took me three years to actually actually freaking do this right, but I still didn't do it right, so... <laughs> Shows me. So here's another, like... If we waste a certain amount of turns doing something else, we can avoid enemies. Like, there was a Grimer that kind of just walked right past us without even knowing he was there. And then this is Ma that's Magma Cavern. Now we have the Pit. This is, this is what we were talking about before with... The Steelixes and Onyxes just being such a pain. So... Uh, and... We're just gonna hope, we're gonna hope and pray we don't see many people. And like, that's that's not a good thing to see. Let's just hope he doesn't kill us. Nope, Rage is a great move. Rage is a very... There's... Oh, goodness gracious. This might be your chance, Hal. I hope so, because... Our first floor on the first section wasn't very good. Please miss. At least you used a dragon breath on me there when it didn't matter what you used on me. 
Where are these stairs? Dios, Dios meals. Where are these stairs? Okay, I found them. Don't worry, stairs have been found. Oh, goodness gracious, screech. Like, I'll save real quick, just in case. So, um, interesting fact. Groudon's the only boss in the game that we... that he's unpredictable. We don't know what he's gonna do. Um, and this is because we didn't quick save on that floor one. You can technically quick save and you can know what he's doing, but it's not worth it at all. Especially with the with what we're doing with our runs right now, we we both have feasible amount of seeds to be able to just be like whatever attack and hope for the best. Found the stairs? No. <laughs> Dragon Breath missed. Oh, dang. Rip around. I'll end up losing the seat anyway. Okay. She... Yeah, this is over. Oh, I'm gonna try to finish. The race is done, that's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of me's on this floor. Shoutouts to me actually hating this floor. I might just reset and just try to see if I can re-roll the RNG. I mean, I how- that. Okay. I wasn't feeling that. I probably lost more seeds. I already lost two seeds on that floor. I need the seeds for Sky Tower. Yeah, you Sky Tower. I want to actually finish this run. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm actually kind of curious how my page is. Cause like this. This isn't much better. Okay. Oh man, I do love a good old cutscene every once in a while, with my gameplay. Uh, that, that's how I found the stairs second room. <laughs> AMA. So I lost more time than you did. I'm pretty sure. I mean, Sky Tower still can technically do him a little bit. Oh, you've already beaten Groudon, this is okay. Yeah. Oh well. Ew, well, ew. But yeah, like, they, neither of these runs could be technical PB anyway. Because we started at the skate screen, and neither of us recorded our starts. So there's not, like, or, like, time recorded our starts. Oh, and race time's gonna end when we kill Rayquaza. Yeah, that's race time, but that's not actual time. But who cares about race time? What we do for the sake of this recording. Just so we can keep getting the, get the stream back on schedule. Hey, man. We are doing just fine. We're already behind schedule. It's all good. You got all the stat boosts. <laughs> He's just not having a good time, are you, Jipal? No! <laughs> Feels bad. Speed is like a broken mechanic in this game as well. Hello, I'm actually gonna be safety stats, safety strats, and take the stuff out of the, uh, take the one reviver seed I have in here out of storage. I mean, you think Zatu with his super big, uh, foreseeing process would have a pretty good yeah, you're IQ. Like, you're like a minute and a half ahead of me. Dang. Oh jeez, I, like, I got my finger like underneath the A button somehow. I don't know how I did that. 
We haven't we haven't been able to talk about the Wii U VC button because you aren't running on Wii U. I'm not running on Wii U. <laughs> Part of me really wishes that was. <laughs> but the rest of me knows I, I actually couldn't run on Wii U for this uh, this marathon. Oh yeah, that's because, right. Because um, I left my Wii U gamepad charger in Florida when I went to smash the record. That's right. So you just haven't played your Wii U ever since you. Um, well, I mean, I can play the back. Wii U. I just can't play games that need the gamepad. Yeah. Yeah. Which is all the VC games you have, basically. Yeah. Hey, well, you can the... you can do Red can Rescue play... Team runs. <laughs> you can play Red Rescue Team. I so... can play Donkey Kong 64. So yeah, so something we haven't we didn't touch on at all, but um, there's a blue and a Red Rescue Team. It's kind of like Diamond Pearl and like Ruby Sapphire and stuff. Except no, that. It's like, it's it... like... No, it's not. Except it's except I'm getting to that. Except. That one is on a Game Boy game, or one Game Boy Advance cartridge, and one's on a DS cartridge. And um, the thing about Red Rescue Team on a Game Boy Advance is that the Game Boy Advance isn't that powerful, and it struggles to play that game. Loading times are very slow. Um, RNG progresses differently because it's a different console. So like we yeah, when you actually when you do the quick save, you actually need to reset the console. Yeah. So, we are on, or at least I am on, the nearing the final dungeon. With one of my favorite tracks in the game. Just so good. I have two reminders left. Let me check the shop real quick. I have no space for any more items. Hold on. Hold on. So Sky Tower is actually decently straightforward. There's no really, no really out of place things. There's only like one or two. Wasting my time, kick me on. There's only like one or two floors. Yeah. There's only one or two floors that really have any interesting things on it. A lot of it's just like going straight to the stairs. And um. We'll be using hail. Actually, we'll be using hail to guide ourselves, kind of. <sighs> but for now, you have cutscenes. The best part of this game. <sighs> oh man. Sky Tower is just great stuff. All PMD OSC was actually pretty solid. Like, um, even the atrocious game called Gates to Infinity has a pretty good soundtrack. It's an atrocious speed game. Actually, no, it's a. Never mind, I take that back. It's an atrocious game in general. Oh, hi, Shuppet. How are you doing? Now you curse, okay? I told you I'd get shepherds on the first floor. Red Dot, I have a chance, because I'm, I'm still in the dream. Yeah, at least the shep- I've still got another minute and a half until I'm even in that dungeon. <laughs> at least the shepherd didn't uh, spite me. That's actually like really bad that shepherd spited me. Because I, I, have, I have like one max elixir or no max elixirs. I don't remember which how many I have. So you got, wait, so you got, you got first, you got... Curse. I thought you got spited. No, I got cursed. Thank the lord I didn't get spited. Here's a Shedinja we were talking about like two hours ago. Oh crap, that's the Shedinja? Okay, he's, we're probably gonna lose a seat here, boys. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Isn't family just great, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh man. Okay, so um. So yeah. Sky Tower is still like not a dungeon we could take lightly. It's kind of like, but it's not a super hard dungeon. Like if I'd have to rank hardest to easiest dungeons, Magma Caverns at the top, and Sky Tower is like near the middle. All right, so I want to see a chat poll. If you think I'm gonna win this, throw up your how W's. If you think Jacob's gonna win this, throw up how Wiggly Wow. I'm curious to see who's who's on curious. the side. Shoutouts to the gold ribbon I picked up. Or if you just like this song, just throw it out. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Why not? He feels how, man. This feels dab man's far superior, even I'll admit that. Okay. Okay, my first four is alright. Okay. The. Goodness gracious. That was weird movement. Okay, floor 18 is one of the first dungeons, or one of the first floors in this dungeon that has kind of a weird setup to it. Uh, we are going to stall for hail. And then we're gonna do some just interesting movement. Just so that Terrier, you see that Altaria in the top left corner? It just doesn't come to us. Which is great. So, and then also in here, I'm gonna actually go away from the stairs in order to avoid an encounter. I call it an encounter. An encounter that would happen with a scissor. Reprise is a pretty good legendary. Where am I going? I don't know either. Oh my god, I'm dumb. Chelsea being dumb. Chelsea is in one seed. That was stupid. I completely messed up for my loss of seed for it. Okay. I've got one seed for the rest of the game. So on this it's always a good feeling. So on this 24th, on this, on this last floor, we actually have to waste a turn against those Viminots. Or feminats, I can't speak. Because if we would have, if we wouldn't have, feminazis, he would have confused Squirtle and would have lost a lot of time and a lot of it, like a seed. So, oh goodness gracious, I got stair floor. What is life? Anyway, so I don't have to deal with anything, any RNG anymore. Everything is set in stone. I can do whatever I want now. I'm gonna have to actually check how many seeds I have. Because I can do certain strats that save time depending on how many seeds I have. And I have way too many. Cool. So this is my favorite. This is one of my favorite strats too. This is probably like second favorite. We're actually just going to go up to his Claydol and waste a turn and he's just going to say bye bye and go away. And when, when we used to have the facade strat... Oh crap. When we used to have the facade strat that um, we used to use... Oh, we actually got to see that twice because we quick saved on floor. What was it, floor eight or floor seven? So we were actually able to do that, see that twice. But in this route, we don't quick save there, so feels bad, man. You know. So the, the, like the whole peak, this whole peak is actually very, very precise in how you move. Like, see, there's the Metagross there, because I didn't move correctly. It should be. Hopefully it's, uh, it gets uploaded somewhere. But anyway, it, the, that fifth floor should have looked familiar. It was exactly like the third floor. But because it's on a different floor, it has a different floor ID. So, it, the manipulation works differently, so it's just... We have to slightly alter our strat. I don't remember the strat. I'm just gonna frustration twice and hope for the best. Yeah, frustration twice. I, like, as you can see, Squirtle's actually doing nothing. Nothing to that Aerodactyl. So now that I have two seeds, I can actually show off a really cool strategy we use with Rayquaza. So every every boss fight up to this point, we've routed so we lose no reviver seeds on, and that's for safety's sake. But now that um, 
now that we don't have to worry about our seeds anymore, and Rayquaza was the last fight in the game, we can just figure out the fastest way to kill this thing, no matter what. Uh, no matter what our seed counters looking like, as long as we have enough seeds. So it's actually uh, he's the first thing is he scary faces Squirtle, so he doesn't attack as much, which is good because Squirtle just wastes frames while attacking. And uh, he scary faces us, but he actually misses. So he kills us. That's fine. And he dragon dances, which is pretty scary, but um we should be fine because he gets infatuated sometime soon. I think it's infatuated after he kills us here. No. No, he just dies. Never mind, I'm dumb. But anyway, that was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. On my end, at least. You didn't call time. Me, 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 me. So, um, time is not technically until the end game. The the it fades out to black like five minutes later. But for race timing, it's uh, for, yeah, fun request. Yeah. But that's just SRL race timing. So yeah, I'm just I just have to hold D, and you know it's, it's good. So hopefully, uh, Halkyrie can do some of the things I didn't do in the summit, so you can kind of see what's going on over at his end, because there's some interesting things that I kind of just missed out on because I just didn't do it correctly. Like going into the unknown dungeon? Yeah, yeah. I'm on peak four, by the way. Nice. Are you quick save? No, you quick save on three. And then... quick save. <laughs> so yeah, um, to kind of wrap this up, um, this game is very, very easy to learn. This is like in the no saving quick category. This game is super easy to learn. And if you know how this game kind of like just progresses story-wise, you can speedrun this game. It takes practice to be good at it, like all the things. But um, it's a very easy game to pick up. Even the save and quit has a lot of guides, a lot of like we have Google Docs that's open to... Uh, like open to people to look We're in at. Tower of clouds in the sky. Yeah, I think that's what this cutscene is supposed to be. But anyway. this area. No, I think he's talking. Are you talking about, about him? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think. Talking about me. Anyway, yeah, there's like, and there's. I messed up, but it worked out. <laughs> and like um, Halkery said, uh, there's a PMD Discord that is in his description of his channel, and also, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't it in the speedruns.com page somewhere? I'm pretty sure it's a thread on the Time, Darkness, and Sky lead uh, leaderboards, speedrun.com slash pmdsky. Oh, and it's you also- You find the Discord link there. And it's also on the, um, it's, um, it's also, uh, stickied onto the regular one, so if you, there's always a link there. We welcome everybody. Even Sweeney. Even yeah. Sweeney Todd. But yeah, everyone's cool here. And I, if you guys like this game, this game's super easy to speedrun, and it's like literally the chillest game I've ever played in my life. And, um... Rip. Timing wasn't... Timing actually wasn't done yet, but that's fine. That's unimportant. Because, like, race timing, like, SRL race timing is actually just kill the Rayquaza. But, um, actually... Yeah, I feel like started this race at SRL race timing, so, you know. Yeah, so, sure. It's whatever. Cause like we have, on my side. like the, the weird thing is we actually don't, like, I don't know why, we just have an arbitrary, not arbitrary, but we have a, a fade out to black split. Um, like, after this cutscene and then after a prologue or an epilogue. 
like cutscene. There's this. I want to say, but that um, this race was actually really like a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. So usually in a PMD race, I think a lot of it in this case had to do because we were playing so safe. But usually in a PMD race, someone plays too risky and they lose. And it's usually the people, person behind is playing risky to catch up and they just like lose revival seeds. And in this game, if you die, you just lose your run. You can't really recover. Well, that, that's how it used to be. But with the new frustration strats, you can keep going. Because uh, you don't need bands anymore. And that's yeah. what we used to be scared of losing. Why is my stream starting? Uh, I don't understand my stream. That's okay. It's probably the RTMP. We take total fault for that. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> but anyway, um, we both run PMD, we both run other games as well. Check out Halkery, he's probably the better entertainer, not gonna lie. But, yeah, this was this has been Pogo Industry Dungeon. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So, Thanks Jacob's, uh, Jacob's getting to this credit scene. Uh, I think that's about it for us. Yep, we got the next runner almost ready, so... Okay, just whenever, uh, whenever you're ready.